Well, it is camera trap day once again. I've been walking in this woods now, doing the same intro uh, since December, if I'm remembering correctly. And uh, a lot of times I don't use them because I come in here pretty much all the time and uh, don't have anything on the camera. So uh, we're gonna work our way in today and hope that today is a different day um, with our look uh, with this camera trap going across the log in the swamp so whoa so it's been pretty mild lately no real winter time weather we've had uh, a couple of snowfalls uh, in January uh, matter of fact back to back Saturdays which was odd but um, it's been pretty mild. Uh, it was 70 degrees on Friday, and today uh, it's supposed to be in the 40s um, with rain and a chance of snow towards the coast. So that's your weather forecast update. <clears throat> so we're just we're just making our way in. Going to check things out. Hope that we got something good to show you. All right, here we are. Let's see what we got. Ninety three videos. Possum, squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Ooh! Bobcat, baby. Ooh! So he came from this way. All right, man, that was uh, after my last visit in. It was that same night. So it looks like he come from this way. See the flash firing. He pauses. Looks like he sits down for a second and then he continues down this way. So he's coming from the direction that I want him to come from. Ooh, all right, let's check the camera trap. Alright, so we got the cat. He's at the bottom left third of the frame. 
and uh, the fill light that I put on this tree, if you remember, uh, is, is just as kissing the cat. So we got a little bit of detail, but also the rim light. And it's, it's really hard to tell on the back of the camera, but I am seeing some stars up there. Uh, I think I can work with it though. Uh, I think I can make it, I think I can make that work. Uh, oh, yes. Oh man, that's good. Uh, I love it when you get success. Uh, man, gracious, this is great. Um, so I don't think I'll ever beat uh, the bobcat from last year on the beaver dam. I really don't think I'll ever beat that image. If I do, it'll be years to come. I'm gonna try, but I don't think I'll ever beat it. But just getting pictures of bobcats like this, it's just so rewarding. Um, they're so elusive. We never see them. Uh, on a rare occasion, I'll see one like on the way to work early in the morning, right at sunrise, either run across the road, uh, that that's happened like twice in six years. So I mean it, you very rarely see them So anytime I can get some photos of them on my camera trap and especially being a half mile from the house It's just it's a relief and it's so rewarding. I, I love this um, So I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave the camera like this. I really do like the wide-angle shot um but I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust. That light is casting too much lens flare in my shot. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it off the tree that it's on. And I'm going to move it back a tree that's about five foot behind it. That's what I'm going to do. And then the fill light right here, um, that's nice. But I think I'm actually going to move it to a tree that's about eight feet that way. So, the, so say... Um, you're, I'm pointing down the log, cat's walking this way, the light's actually going to be right here. So what it'll end up doing is look like he's walking directly towards that fill light. And so that'll kind of give detail all down the side of the animal. And this is all if he comes back. But he's been here twice in, what, a month? So, yeah, this camera's staying put. I'm hoping he's using this when he's passing through the area. Um... Ooh, this is so exciting. All right, I'm going to take the memory card out and make these modifications. I'll be back with you in just a second. So, I came in and I moved the flash over here just so I don't have any lens flare in the next shots. I slid it back to the tree that's about five foot behind it. And then right, right back here, you can see over my shoulder, right there, I moved that flash back so it's shooting down the logs. So it's only really gonna work if the animal's coming from this way. That got me thinking. So. While I was doing all this, I was like, all right, this cat is coming. Well, the first time he came from this direction, went behind the camera, jumped down. Uh, and then tonight or today's uh, image, the cat was coming from behind the camera. So that same location. So where this tree fell down, um, there another tree has fell down and the root systems come up. So there's two trails that intersect with this tree and uh, I'm pretty positive I know which one he's using, but what I'm gonna do when I come back in here next week, I'm gonna bring in another trail camera. We're gonna deploy it right here because the raccoons come from that direction. I've gotten uh, coyotes crossing the log down there. So if we can figure out exactly what trail they're using down at that end, that might be what happens next with this camera. Uh, I want to, I'm close to getting the shot that I'm after of the bobcat in this particular spot this photo so if I can get one more I think I can have it perfect so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hold out we're gonna leave the camera here and just hope that he comes back within a reasonable amount of time hopefully within the next week or two and then we're gonna move the camera down there um, and hopefully by then I'll know what trails most animals are using and then we'll see if we can get a very intimate 
portrait of a bobcat because that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for a very wide, very close because uh, it's very tight quarters down there. So I think that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to go for. So whew, I want to thank you guys so much. I appreciate uh, all the good comments I get, uh, all the good emails uh, and messages uh, from everybody. I just really appreciate it. I really enjoy this. Again, I can't thank you enough. I appreciate all you guys, and we will see you on the next time I'm in the woods. See ya. Came back. Yes. That is so close to the shot that I'm after. The bobcat came back through three more times. Um, man, three times. And so what I did is I moved the camera much closer. So we got the wide shot uh, with it under the stars. And I was really wanting a close shot, uh, up close and personal of the bobcat with the stars in the background. And he did come back through and I disabled the one flash. And so we had nothing but rim light, bobcat, uh, but the sky had a crazy, crazy color to it. Um, really, really warm. Uh, I didn't enhance this much at all. Uh, it is it's pretty much that way straight out of camera. Really, really orange. And so he uh, he passed back through, kind of cut uh, one picture off. He it triggered a little late. The next one, perfect walking parallel to the camera. Got that nice rim light. Luckily, the flash over here that I put on the tree a while back filled in his face. Uh, and then he came back through a third time, uh, but the settings went a little long, so it's created another one of those ghost images. So you can see the trees and the sky kind of bleed through the cat, um, which it's kind of kind of sad, but it also looks really neat. Um, it's kind of a cool photo. Um, I would not have thought twice about it being bad at all if it was nothing but stars because that's what I'm really after is a bobcat under the stars and we did get it we did get it uh, but now I'm trying to really hone in and get that really nice tight close image so uh, I think I am so close to getting the shot that I'm after of the bobcat on this log um, I hate to move it but you know right down here I told you the cat crosses this log and he gets off down at that end or gets on and walks this way and so I've had a trail camera up running down there at that end and I've documented uh, three or four cats now that are using that end of the tree and I'm seeing where they're getting on it where they're crossing what they're doing and I'm kind of planning the next shot so I'm gonna leave this camera here just a little bit longer and hopes before all the foliage moves in on these trees I'm going to cross my fingers I can get uh, that one shot that I'm after a bobcat silhouette stars just really close wide with stars so we're going to um, go ahead and refresh these batteries um, I'm gonna turn this flash back on so I can get some good detail I really enjoyed seeing these pictures on the back of the camera um, I, I'm super pumped uh, I've gotten now that makes what I would say three really good 
bobcat camera trap images just in the last month or so so i'm super pumped about that it doesn't get much better than that um, we had him cross over on the beaver dam uh, more on that in another video had him cross over there got a picture there and got him crossing the log which is phenomenal so exciting it's so nice it's just so good to get successful images with camera trapping there's so much downtime there's so much waiting so much preparation and hard work that goes into these images and sometimes you get them and sometimes you don't uh, so when you have back-to-back -back successful traps with what you're after it's just a, a boost of confidence and it's it's just so nice very rewarding so i want to thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you're new um, hit the like button subscribe tell everybody about me in my videos um, thanks for all the good comments and messages and emails i've been getting from everybody i really appreciate it and we'll see you again soon i'll be doing more camera traps uh, we're working on the beaver dam we're gonna be moving this camera down that end uh, of the tree and we got some more surprises in store coming up in the very very near future so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time yes gotta love it Woo, that looks good